Hi, my name is Elon James White, and you are now watching This Week in Blackness. What is going on, folks? We are back. Episode 11, Season 3 of This Week in Blackness. Yes. And if you haven't had a chance to stop by thisweekinblackness.com, uh, I think you should get on that, okay? Even if we're not doing the videos, we are hitting you with unadulterated awesome on a regular, okay? All awesome everything. That's how we do here, all right? Just stop by. Just go right now. I mean, okay, no. Watch the video, but then but then afterwards, stop by This Week in Blackness, okay? Let's do it. So it's October 2010, one month before the midterm elections, and uh, everything is buzzing right about now, you know? Everyone's saying the Democrats are in trouble, you know? The Tea Party and the Republican Party are going to come out and they're going to have a referendum on the Democrats, yeah! I mean, you could have said that 2006 was a referendum, definitely 2008, but that doesn't count because the Republicans didn't win. And forget the people who wouldn't normally vote for Obama, the Democratic Party seems to be having an issue. That's right, liberals are completely upset. There's an enthusiasm gap. People in the liberal base are just upset. They, they don't even care about these midterm elections. They're not, gonna, they're not even going to go out and vote. They're not going to support the Democrats. Yeah, if you're a registered Democrat who's a little bit upset with how the last two years went and you thought the best way of handling it was not to vote, you're an idiot. You're upset because not enough progressive policies have gone through, so you're going to allow the Republicans to try to take power. That sounds like a great idea. I don't care what happens in November. I voted for Obama in 2008, and everything isn't fixed, man. It's not fixed. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Obama didn't do everything that everyone thought he was going to do, you know? A lot of people expected him to levitate into the White House and then just, like, wave his hand like his name was Neo in the movie The Matrix and just make everything stop. People were expecting him to fight Republicans like they were Agent Smith. There is no spoon. But that didn't happen, and, and, and why would you expect that to happen? Obama and the Democrats have not fixed the economy, man! Yeah, you're right. Obama and the Democrats didn't fix the economy in two years. Do you guys realize, like, it was like eight years of Republican nonsense coupled with, like, 30 years of just bad policy that led to the economic collapse? Do you guys remember late 2008 when the economy imploded? You know, when people were on television talking about, can we ever survive? Can we ever make it past this moment? We actually did survive, you know, all the things that Republicans hate, like the stimulus plan and, and TARP and all those things, they actually helped, you know? Like, even with our bad unemployment rate, it could have been a lot worse. It's like around 10% now. Imagine if it was around 20 or 30%. I'm not saying everything is perfect, okay? Far from it. But things could have been so much worse, okay? We don't live in a land of bacon-flavored unicorn and fairy dust. Things can't be fixed magically, okay? I don't think when Obama got elected that he put in his cabinet like some dude named Dumbledore. And I'm pretty sure the H in Barack H. Obama does not stand for Harry Potter. Although it would be awesome if it did. What? The Republicans are blocking the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell and immigration reform? Expect us Patronum! That would be totally awesome, but that's not, that's not what's happening. The Obama administration and the Democrats are far from magical, okay? They're not even like magic-esque, like, like flavors of magic. They're not even a little bit. Okay? There's lots of times that I'm looking at my computer screen and checking out what the Democrats and Obama have done, and I'm like, what the fuck was that? But then liberals and progressives come together and they can actually say to the administration, what the fuck was that? Do you think that would happen with the Republicans and the Tea Party in control? They don't even consider people like me real Americans. I was discussing this online and someone actually referred to me as a latte-sipping limousine trustafarian. Dude, I live in Crown Heights, Brooklyn, okay? I'm not an elitist liberal. I'm someone who's paying attention. Every time I think to myself, man, I am pissed off at the Democrats. The Republicans and the Tea Party do something that remind me that they are way fucking worse. I've said this before and I'll say it again. I'm not liberal. I'm actually just anti-evil, okay? Repealing healthcare reform, stopping the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, the crazy Arizona immigration law that was put into place, the idea that abortion should be illegal in every circumstance even if, God forbid, you were molested. 
I'm sorry, that's evil. And for a moment, think about the crazy McCrazersons that the Republicans and the Tea Party have running, okay? Think about the rallies that when you saw them on television, it made your stomach hurt because you were like, dear God, they... They don't represent me, okay? Think about all of that, and think about the fact that when you don't vote, you're saying, ah, your guys are fine, you can be in power, I don't care. 